Okay, so I just wanted to put together this quick update video for the Binance.com video. The video where I showed you guys how to get on Binance.com as a U.S. resident. So many people have been asking questions, you know, about can I use my credit card, can I wire money, or any type of um, fiat transactions on Binance.com as a U.S. resident when you're using a VPN. Now, you cannot do this. The only way you can use Binance.com is with crypto to crypto transactions. So if you're going to trade something on Binance.com, let's say you want to buy some Theta token, what you would need to do is either buy some Bitcoin from Coinbase or some other exchange that you have an account with that allows you as residents. You'll buy your Bitcoin, you'll buy your Litecoin, or you'll buy your Ripple, or whatever cryptocurrency you want to buy that's easy and fast to transport over to Binance.com after you've done the steps that I've outlined in the video um, right there, right, right here, this video, and this box right here. So... Look at this video, pay attention to the um the thumbnail on the video. The link will be down below in the description for that video, which will show you exactly how to use Binance.com using a VPN and showing you which VPN to use. It is absolutely critical that you use the correct VPN. NordVPN works pretty good. It works fantastic. I've not had any issues using NordVPN. And again, a link for that will be in the description as well as the link to the full video details on how to get on Binance.com um, using a VPN as a United States resident. All right, so the purpose of this video is to remind people that you cannot use Binance.com as a US resident using the VPN method and transfer cash, fiat money, talking US dollars or buy anything with a credit card. As soon as you try and do that on Binance.com using my hack method to get on Binance.com, your account will be flagged and they will ask for verification. They will ask you to do KYC, which is know your customer and you don't want that to happen. So stick to crypto to crypto transactions and you won't have any issues. The way to do it is go to Coinbase, go to crypto.com or go wherever it is that you normally would buy your cryptocurrencies, buy you some Litecoin, buy you some Ripple or whatever cryptocurrencies or buy yourself some Tether. I don't recommend Tether. Tether is, is not good, but you can buy some TUSD or whatever. And then you send it over to Binance.com and then you use that currency, that cryptocurrency that you sent over to Binance.com and you trade using that cryptocurrency. And when you're finished trading on Binance.com, you just simply pull your cryptocurrency off and put it into your private wallet, which would be an Exodus wallet, a Trezor wallet or a Ledger Nano or whatever type of Ledger device that you may have. But um, just take it off of Binance, put it into your own personal account because at the end of the day, you're not really supposed to be using Binance.com and I can't guarantee you how long this method will work. Even though many people have been using it for a long time, you know, you can see the comments down below. Well, not the comments on this video, but the comments on the other video, you can see people have been using it for a long time without any issues. And I've been using it for a while without any issues as well. However, you don't want to take any risks. You don't want to take any chances. So just do your trades on Binance.com. Get the cryptocurrencies that you want. Pull it off of Binance.com. Store it someplace safe. And then the next time you need to do another trade, you just transfer it back over and do what you need to do. So, that's just a quick update for that video. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, all the links down below. All of the links are down below in the description, you know, pertaining to the information provided in this video. Make sure you check out those links. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.